Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Canva frames so that you can fill them with whatever you want. You'll see here I've got this 2023 grad and you can do anything you want with this. It doesn't have to say 2023 grad. It can say anything you want it to say. It can be any kind of a photo that you want it to be. It can literally be anything. We're going to create the design in a different program called Inkscape. Then we're going to add in the special um, mesh that's going to make it a frame in Canva. And then you can come over here in Canva and you can fill it with your favorite photos or digital paper or whatever it is that you want to fill your frame with in Canva. This method will work to make any kind of custom Canva frame that you want. So I'm going to hop over to Inkscape and show you how I did it. Okay, so here we are in Inkscape. Um, if you're not familiar with Inkscape, I have another tutorial that will show you how to download it and get it all set up. We're not going to do too much in Inkscape. I'm just going to show you how to kind of make this design so that we can put it in Canva with frames. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is pull in our text. You come over here and click this little A. This is the text tool. So you want to click it and then click on your screen and just start typing. So the first thing I'm going to do is 2023. This is the outline font. Um, let me change it back to the fill font first. Okay, so the font we're using is called Monica font. Again, you can use any font that you want. This is just what I used for this tutorial and I'll link to um, where you can get this font for free. So here it is. There's the 2023. And then for the word grad, I'm going to type out each letter individually. So I've got a G. I'm going to click this blank area on my screen to get another cursor, an R. Click again for the A, click again for the D. Okay, now to get out of this text tool, I have to come over here and click this um, selector tool or else I'm just going to keep typing in text. Something else, you want to lock this icon up here so that when you are scaling, everything stays in proportion. Okay, I am just kind of arranging really quick. I um, drug a box around that so I could make them all larger at once instead of one at a time. Okay, just kind of position these where I want them. Gonna drag a box again. I'm gonna make sure the bottoms of these are all lined up. So I'm gonna come to my alignment tool. I have mine over here. If you don't see it over here, you can come to you can come to object and scroll all the way down to align and distribute, and then it will pull up over there for you. So I've got all that selected. I want to align the bottoms. This is the one you can see it's got a straight line here at the bottom. I click that and all of the bottoms are going to be aligned. And then I'm going to take my bottom arrow and just kind of scrunch it up. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Actually, I want to make this whole thing smaller. Okay. So this is kind of basically what we're going to start with. This is what's going to have the photos filled into it. Now we need to get that outline. So I'm going to drag a box around all of this so that it is all highlighted. Right click, duplicate. That duplicated layer showed up on top. I just used my cursor to click it and drag it down. Okay, so this is what we're gonna turn into that outlined font. So I'm gonna select the 2023. I'm gonna come back into the font tool over here and then change this from Monica Filled to Monica outline. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, since these are all individual, I have to do them one at a time. Monica outline, click, outline, outline, outline. Okay, I'm going to click out of my text tool again, back to my selector tool. Now I'm just going to leave these alone going to kind of drag a box around them, maybe group them together. I hit control G to group, or you can also come to object and group. And just kind of pull them out of the way. I don't need them right now. Okay, so now we're working with this 2023 grad. Okay, 
what you need to do to actually make the frame show up in Canva is put a JPG image behind this. Let me explain. First of all, I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna pull in a JPG image. This is just some digital paper that I have saved on my computer. It can be anything. It can be some clip art you've downloaded. It can be actual photos that you've saved to your computer. It doesn't matter. As long as the file format is .jpg, you can use it. So just pull in any JPG image at all, anything. Okay, now that's a little big, so I'm just gonna scrunch it down. Now here's where you really need to decide. The way I have this set up is 2023 will have one photo in it, and then each of these letters down here will have a separate photo. If you just want the whole thing to have one big photo, you only need to do this once. If you wanted the word grad to have one photo to cover the whole word, and then 2023 to have a second photo to cover the whole word, you'd only need to do this twice. I'm going to do it multiple times because I need one, two, three, four, five photos for my design. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate this a couple times because like we said, I need like five of these. Okay, so here's this first one. I'm going to kind of shrink it down. And I'm going to place it behind the 2023. So right now it's on top. I'm gonna use these arrows here to move it up and down. I need it to go down, I want it behind 2023. So I'm gonna use the down arrow, okay. And I wanna make sure that it really takes up the whole 2023. I need this JPG to overlap top, side, and bottom of the 2023, and it does. Okay, this JPG is selected. I want you to hold Shift and select 2023 or whatever your first word is that you have up here so that they are both selected then object clip set clip okay so you can see this pattern here filled those letters now we're going to do this same thing for each of these letters i'm going to send it to the back this pattern is selected i'm going to hold shift click on the g so now the g is also selected object clip set let's go grab another one i need to drop that back behind the r shift select the r so they are both selected object clip set we're going to do it two more times i've got my jpg it is selected i'm going to move it down i'm going to hold shift select the a object clip set last one move this down hold shift select the d object clip set okay now we're going to come back over here and grab this other little thing we have here and put it on top i'm going to increase the size of my screen we can really see, and we just want to make sure that this lines up with what we've got here. Okay, so that's lining up pretty good. I'm going to decrease the size of my screen again. To increase and decrease my screen, I'm just hitting the plus or minus sign on my keyboard. Okay, the last thing we need to do is take this outline layer and change it from text to a path. That seems complicated, but it's really not. So we had grouped it together earlier. Let's ungroup it now. I'm going to hit Control Shift G to ungroup everything. I'm going to select it. I'm going to do Object, Object to Path. Don't worry about what this is doing. Just know you need to do this to each of your letters for the outline layer, not the ones that we just filled with that pattern, but for this solid black outline, we need to turn them all to path. So select it, path, object to path. Select the black outline R, path, object to path. The A, path, object to path. And the D, path, object to path. Okay, we're done. The design is created. You can come to File, 
export. You want to export this as a PDF. You'll get options here. It can be JPG, SVG, PNG. Make sure it is a PDF, super important. Name it, uh, let's see. I'm gonna name it grad three. I have a couple others on my desktop already. And hit export. Don't mess with anything in here, just hit okay. All right, now we're gonna hop into Canva. And I have a blank document already set up to eight and a half by 11. You can set up your Canva document however you want to set it up. In fact, let's just create a design. A4 document is what I used. Okay, now let's go get this thing that we just created here in Inkscape. Let's go get this. So upload, upload files, and I believe we called this one grad three. There is grad three, open. Now, since this is not a photo, it's a document, it's gonna upload down here in projects instead of with the rest of the photos. But if I just click projects, here is grad three. Click on it. Okay. I'm increasing my size a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now look, I just clicked this and pulled it off. You see that? That's gonna be our outline layer that we're gonna use in a little bit. Now here's some magic. Watch, I'm gonna click this. I'm hitting the backspace on my computer. Magic frames, do that for each letter. Just delete this pattern that you had put in. Whatever you put in your JPG in Inkscape, whatever that was, delete that. And it's gonna leave you with a frame. And see if we pull this back up here, we now have that beautiful outline around our frame. Let's come to the uploads. And here is where you will put in your graduation pictures, whatever they may be. I'll put this one in here. Then you want to double click it so you can get your photo. And kind of play with your sizing, whatever you want it to be. That's probably not the best photo to put there, but I'll play with that later. Okay, so let's see here and just start putting them in and getting them where you think you want them to be. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna pull this one out and use something different for up there. I'm gonna put her in here for the R. Go in the R, there we go. Right. I didn't need to duplicate that. Maybe I want that in the 2023. I think that's going to be good. I'm going to speed this up while I just kind of play around with it a little bit to get it looking exactly right. Okay, so I think that's going to work. Then we'll just pull the outline up around it and kind of inch it in to where it needs to be. And there you go. You have your 2023 grad Canva frames, and you can do this with anything. I just wanted to do this because we're in May at the end of school, and it was a good time to do this graduation thing. But that is how you can make your very own custom frames for Canva that you can make anything with. It doesn't have to say this. It doesn't even have to be letters. It can be um, shapes or whatever you want it to be. But that's all I've got for you guys. We'll see you next time.